uh, into the pass between the mountains, but I thought since we're, uh, maybe not, that's a big snowshoe. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Classic. So today we're here on White Rhyme Ridge for another Let's Go Hunt video and I had to look. It's been since October since I've done one of these and basically uh, since a lot of you guys have showed up to the channel since then I wanted to explain uh, what the series is because this is not the trophy hunting series. That's something completely different. Uh, for this I just go out and hunt uh, a certain species with a certain weapon on a certain map uh, and the way that's determined is through the comments. So on this video, whatever comment has the most likes uh, and is saying like, for instance, hunt snowshoe hare on White Run Ridge with the 20 gauge uh, carbon, which is what this one is. Uh, if that comment has the most likes, that's what I do for the next video. And that is, of course, uh, what was on the last video. So we are here to hunt snowshoe with the 20 gauge carbon. And I do have that. And I also brought the 9.3 because we can pretty much hunt uh, everything else on the map except for Fox, which I brought the 357 for. So we're up here. You saw we were at the lodge and we've got a Sitka buck already. So we'll try to get that. But I'm going to head over into here first. I'm not going to go too far. I'll probably go about as far uh, as the pass and then I'm going to turn back around and go down into here because there's a lot of snowshoe in there uh, and I'm pretty sure going through here as well there should be a good number of them so hopefully we can get a good like six or seven plus some other animals. Our Sitka buck looks to be a decent one. 52 105 score estimate. Back in the day this would have been a really good one but they do get a bit bigger than this now. But he is down with the 9.3. I think he's going to be like high 70s low 80s. Not a bad start, but of course we're not really hunting uh, Sitka deer, we're kind of here for rabbits. But I do tend to find them up here, so hopefully we'll run into them uh, shortly. Let's see what this guy scores though. 79. Not a bad start. So we've got a decent male doll sheep down here, doesn't look uh, anything crazy special, maybe like 150? 120 to 205 score estimate. <laughs> Apparently I need to work on my spotting for them because clearly he's nowhere near uh, 205. But another thing I should mention about these videos, uh, for those of you that haven't seen them uh, in the past, I tend to pretty much ignore all females of the species that I'm not hunting. So for this one, I'm going to ignore uh, all females that are not snowshoe hare. Uh, and of course, this is a male doll sheep. So any males I pretty much will take. It does kind of add some variety too. So we're not just shooting a bunch of snowshoe hare. We're getting some other species as well. Yeah, I think this guy's right around 140, 150. Double lung shot and 144 score. Not bad. I think I might have heard a snowshoe jumping uh, over this way somewhere, so we'll see if we can find him. And I think that is our rabbit, and it is. I don't know, like, what I should do when I'm asked to hunt rabbits. I don't know if I should just shoot them when they're hunkered down like that or if I should intentionally uh, spook them. Uh, but it seems like I should just shoot them hunkered down because... Otherwise, if I'm intentionally spooking them, I'll probably have to run around and chase them for a while. 1196 on that guy. Actually, uh, I do need a bigger snowshoe for my lodge. I think I only have like a mid-1600, so maybe we can get that during this hunt. So we just spooked a snowshoe. See if we can get him. I would say that's a yes. He's not going anywhere. So that is two down. This guy is 0.8 to 1.3 kilograms, so he's not going to be anything special either. Where do we actually hit him? Uh, just body. I guess he was just close enough, uh, and that's why we got the immediate kill, but 1139. Apparently that's part of a mission, but I need another one, and I haven't even heard any, and I'm not going the way I want to, so probably not completing that mission. So we've got another hiding bunny up here. I think this is a male as well, actually. We'll spot it and find out. Now, this is a female, 1.2 to 1.8 kilograms. It had a low uh, weight estimate on the track, assuming that it was its track that I had. And I'll just get close enough that you guys can actually see. So that is three down, and it is the one that I've been tracking. So I think it was only up to 1.6 on the track. And we have 1.3 uh, kilograms, 1299 score. And apparently it was too late uh, to complete that other mission, because I would have gotten the uh, confirmation that I did it. But I don't really care too much about that. We're getting uh, kind of where we're heading back now. Uh, going down to the second arrow I drew. So hopefully we're going to run into more going down that way. So we've got a 1.5 to 2 kilogram female snowshoe right in front of us. But unfortunately with all the grass and stuff. Like you can hear it there. But I can't really see it. If it'll stand on its hind legs I might be able to get a shot at it. Otherwise we're likely going to have to spook it. And try to get it on the run. Like I can see it moving around. 
I don't even know if snowshoes stain on their hind legs. I think they do. I know cottontails definitely do it. But, like, I can't actually see it. Every now and then I see his ear. So he's right in here somewhere. Or she, actually. I think only the females really get that big. There it is. So that's exactly what I wanted it to do, but I was kind of hoping it wouldn't do it at 5 meters. But I will take it. This might actually be one that goes to the lodge. 1.7 kilograms. 672 is really close to the score of the one I have in the lodge. So I think that one uh, will just leave. I had tracks from another one. I don't know. I might have had tracks from two more because the set of tracks that you see on my hunter mate uh, have stayed here. I kind of thought that was the one because the one of my hunter mate, hunter mate I think was 1.4 to 1.9. So I thought that was going to be it, but evidently there is yet another one. So our other rabbit spooked the one I've been tracking. It's 1.2 to 1.8 because I did spot it, uh, but it ran for like a good 200 meters. I don't know if there were no hiding places or why it ran that far, but I'm hoping it stopped somewhere in here. There's a couple of tracks, so it may have. And we're spotting it. I do not see it. Oh, there it is. All right. Luckily, it didn't run away. And luckily, it didn't run away for another 200 meters. That was ridiculous. You can see uh, all the way down to like the 377, 3377 on my uh, 100 meter for the distance that I've gone so far. It was all the way down there. So it ran a good 200 meters without stopping. And just 1.3 kilograms on this one. 1329 score. Level 7 with the 20 gauge apparently. I think I had tracks from one more rabbit still somewhere up here. But I don't see them. I might not have actually picked them up though. So we just spooked the rabbit that I thought I had tracks from. And we definitely hit it. I don't think that's going to kill it. Because I'm pretty sure I saw uh, a hit in the ear. But this is the one that I remembered having tracks from. 1.1 to 1.7 kilograms. And actually, that killed it. So I think that gets us to our goal of six uh, already for this hunt. 1433 score for that one. So we're not even uh, back to where I spotted the last one. But there was actually a male doll sheep up here. Uh, and then I saw the 1.5 to 2 kilograms. So I thought maybe that could be a good one. But anyway, we're heading towards the uh, kind of pass between these two mountains over here. And I'm looking forward to that because I've had a lot of rabbits in there. We've got another rabbit running up here. Actually, it's going to get into the open. And just nailed it. I really wasn't planning on shooting. I was going to run it down and then I realized there was no grass down here. But apparently 1.2 to 1.7 kilograms on this one. That's a lot of blood for a little rabbit. 1.5 kilograms. 14.50 score. Not too bad, but can't seem to break that 1,700. I think that's what I'd want. Uh, if I'm going to mount one since I have, I think it's like a 1660, 1670. It might even be like 1672. You get a lot of uh, similar scores on rabbits, and that was our biggest one this hunt. But that is number seven. Definitely not doing bad in terms of numbers. So I just had eyes on a really nice looking Sitka buck. It should top 100. Uh, but I'm trying to actually get a shot. There's a smaller buck right in front of us. So we're going to have to take the shot through there. Because the last thing I wanted was, oh, that's a doe. The smaller buck was back there, okay. Well, anyway, uh, the last thing I wanted was for one of the uh, the doe or the smaller buck to spook and send this guy running, especially since, especially since we're not hunting uh, Sitka deer. We're really after rabbits. I don't want to be tracking a Sitka buck. But this guy looks pretty good. Pick him up and see what we get. 97, almost 100. Not quite as good as I was hoping, but we'll take it, and we're pretty much to uh, the pass between the mountains, so hopefully we're going to get our good sized rabbit in here because that is something we haven't yet had. So actually the smaller buck actually slowed down out here so if he'll step out uh, from behind that tree we'll try to take him as well because he's probably like 70s or 80s and he is stepping out. Might have been a body shot but I know this 9.3 will take down a Sitka really really quickly he actually did uh, just go down even with the body shot. I'm not sure that that was a body shot but I know uh, from the past, you can definitely get body on a Sitka and have them go down rather quickly using the 9.3. So here is our Sitka. Let's find out where we actually hit him. And it was a body shot. 4.4 second wound time, though. Good to know for the future that you really don't need that great a hit on a Sitka if you got a big caliber. So we've actually got bison out here. And this is not really uh, a very common area to get them. So I definitely want to take one out because it's probably uh, the only one we're going to get. Unless maybe that one runs uh, into the pass between the mountains. But... I thought since we're, uh, maybe not, that's a big snowshoe. 
which uh, I apparently got. I saw 1.4 to 2 kilograms, so looks like the bison are going to get away. And only 1.5 anyway. 1462, not even that big. Uh, but I do think one of the bison went into this pass, so we might still get one. So we've caught up to our bison. It did go kind of out around the pass, but I thought we'd try to get it anyway. And we've got a doll sheep calling. It's a female, so I don't really care about that. This is a female bison. I did say I kind of ignore all females, but in this case, since it's a bison, it really doesn't make that big a difference. I'm going to try for a heart shot, which is probably a terrible idea. As soon as it stops, if it will. Uh, definitely missed the heart, and in case it's too low. We'll put another one in it, and... Okay, I don't know what that was. I think it was starting to lay down from the spine shot and then died in the middle of it. Because I'm guessing the initial shot was lungs, and you can see uh, by the blood there that it was, but... We did get a bison in this hunt. That's probably the first time and maybe last time ever where I'm hunting up in this area that I'll get a bison. It was just lucky that we had a small herd of them over here, but we'll grab her and continue on. Right lung and spine 3, 89 score. Not bad. So we finally caught up to this rap that I've been tracking. 1.1 to 1.7 uh, kilogram male. I passed up three different doll sheep uh, to get this guy because they were all small. And uh, may have messed up his head a little bit. 1.6 kilogram male. That's about as big a male as I've ever seen. 1641 uh, we might just end it there because we've gotten a lot of kills and I don't want to have this video go too long and end up uh, being uploaded late. So I think this looks pretty good. Unfortunately, there's no sunlight yet. It's still too early. But uh, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised by this. I really didn't think I'd enjoy hunting uh, rabbits that much for a Let's Go Hunting video, but I actually really did. Uh, so we'll probably be doing something like this again in the future. But yeah, as I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you let me know uh, in the comments below what animal you'd like me to hunt next, what map you'd like me to hunt it on, and what weapon you'd like me to hunt it with, and whatever uh, comment has the most likes. That will be the one that I do for the next Let's Go Hunting video. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.